Britain was not prepared for a pandemic. Emergency stockpiles of PPE had been rapidly decreasing and became a low priority in the 10 years of austerity cuts that preceded the coronavirus outbreak in 2020. As well as this, the training of key workers to prepare for such an outbreak had been put on hold for two years, whilst contingency planning was focused instead on handling a possible no-deal Brexit. And yet, in the early months of 2020, when Covid was already wreaking havoc across other parts of the world, the government did not boost emergency supplies of protective equipment for key workers, but instead sent supplies the other way, shipping around 279,000 items of its emergency stockpile to China. By the end of January, NHS England had declared the virus a level 4 critical incident, and at this point, the government fell into a panic. In order to secure protective equipment for our key workers, they started to frantically buy items, costing millions of pounds to fix the situation. But was that money well spent? I'm now going to hand out some items of PPE. I'd like one of you to put them on, and then I'm going to ask you how much you think they cost. For 10 million. Jesus, that's a lot of money. The government spent 70 million pounds on 10 million gowns from a US firm last year, but they were later suspended from use as safety concerns were raised when they arrived in one layer of protective packaging. Double packaging is required for sterile settings, but the government forgot to request that in their contract. That's rubbish. Crap, honestly. Per item. <laughs> I could have made this myself. That's ridiculous. I got a nun that knits. I'm sure she could do something like this. That's 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 a lie. That that cannot be true. The government spent 364 million pounds purchasing COVID overalls, but delivered just 432,000 items for use in the health and social care services. That works out at around 842 pounds per overall. What? For, for this? But then you have to throw it away. So Alfie's wearing a thousand pounds. I cannot believe that. That's just like, I cannot believe that. Wow, that's unbelievable. I feel like that's too, yeah. that, even that's too, even this is too much. Wow, that's a lot of money. For what? Sorry, for one? The government spent £120 million on face shields, whose quality was so bad that fewer than one in 400 were used, meaning each one cost the equivalent of £420. Conveniently, the man they awarded the contract to was a former Conservative councillor, and he since swapped his modest home for a £1.25 million mansion. Throughout the pandemic, the government has awarded thousands of contracts, costing billions of pounds, to private companies. These contracts cover everything, from testing kits to PPE, such as masks and gowns. And whilst they were necessary purchases to keep our key workers safe, there are many questions about the ways in which these contracts are awarded and to whom they were given. To find out how you can oppose this government's wasteful spending, go to bestforbritain.org.